Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Max Hofmann. I'm one of the co-founders of Bidix and today I'm thrilled to show you our new dashboard. Our new dashboard has the great advantage that it is flexible and you can determine yourself which data you see in it. This means that all tiles with the metrics and the charts that are seen here can be determined by yourself. If you'd like to add a new chart, click on Add Chart on the right hand corner. And then you can choose from a variety of chart types, for instance line chart, bar chart or donut chart. As an example, let's start with a bar chart. Now the first question is in which orientation you'd like to have it, horizontally or vertically? Let's go for vertical. Next is if you'd like to choose by report date or by marketplace. After that, you choose the values. In this case, we go for a cost and for the cost. Let's adjust our color scheme. And let's also adjust the date frame. Ooh, that looks crowdy. Let's switch the time unit to weekly. We now also have the possibility to directly add a filter, for instance, to filter a certain marketplace, to filter product, a campaign, a group of products with a tag, or for a specific search term, for instance, if you'd like to see the performance of your branded search terms. In that case, we'd like to go without a filter. Click on Save. And now the chart will be added to your dashboard. Next, we're gonna change the layout of the dashboard. So we increased the size of our bar chart a little bit, so it will be easier for us to read it. You can always configure the chart afterwards to make some changes, for instance, to add some filters. You can rename the chart or you can completely delete the chart. If you'd like to separate charts from each other, you can easily add a chart and use the text box. Call it whatever divider you'd like to call it. Save. Scroll down to see it. And now just extend a little bit the size of it so it goes across the whole width. You also have the possibility to filter the whole dashboard temporarily by a certain date range as well as by a certain ASIN, campaign, by a group of products, by a tag, or to see your search terms, for instance, for your branded campaigns. On the top left, you have an overview of all your dashboards. You can also easily start a new dashboard, give it a name, and create it. And then you can create all the different charts from scratch. If you create a new dashboard, can also access all your DSP data directly from our new dashboard. The possibilities of our new dashboard are almost unlimited. We are looking forward to see what you are going to create with it and how you will use it in the future. I hope you liked our new video about the new dashboard. If you have any questions regarding our dashboard, please put the questions below. You can also always reach out to hello at bidx.xyz or use the chat in the right hand corner within the Bidix tour. Stay safe and see you in the next one. Bye.